to another Flash tutorial. Just wanted to give you some hints and tips on working with layers and just to show you sort of some of the, the basic things you can do with layers. So I've got a, an animatic that I'm working in here. Uh, now I've got just separate. I've got three groups first of all. My first group is this part here which is cut grass and this is actually just a scene where I've got a man coming with a lawnmower going over the background and cutting the grass. Uh, now what happens next is that I actually go to one of the other scenes which is up here. Now what I actually need to happen is I need to actually take the scene with the the grass and actually transfer it further along to start again at a frame further ahead in time. So how do I do that? I'm going to show you. So the first of all, the the background here, let's see, is the problem is that if you've got this black dot here you need to change that to convert to a blank keyframe and this is almost like a stop sign because if you see if you I'll try and demonstrate this if you put a, a frame here then it obviously sh shows you all of the the previous movement before that it doesn't matter what type of frame you use even if you do a blank keyframe uh, it still does that so what you've got to do is come into this dot and actually convert it to a blank keyframe uh, and what that now will do is well, let me just remove the the black one now. There we go. So now I've got the. It's almost like a stop sign. Uh, it's got the. Oh, and I've moved that f too far along. Hold on. Right, come back. There we go. So I'm. Go it's there that I have to do it. Convert to blank keyframe. There it is. There. Right. So. Yeah, you've got to do a basically a blank keyframe after your black one. So there's the scene, there's the black, there's the white keyframe, and that's now the next scene. So that's perfect. So now when I, if I just quickly show you here, if I insert a frame here, it doesn't copy all the previous bit across. So I'm going to come all the way back to here, take the frame, copy the frame, and the the part that I'm wanting is let's see I'm wanting it way way along here. Let's see, just a bit further along, and there, there's where there's where my last scene is. Let's go to the meal. So there, there we go. There. So I'm wanting to actually start the the background again here. Uh, so I'm just going to now click in there. And I'm just going to paste the frame. And what that'll now do is that'll make sure that all of this section before is now blank. And now, if you see what happens here, I've got my frames finishing on the other layer group, and then boom to change back to the background that I had at the start. So that's how you can reuse your your layers. You don't have to make new layer groups. You can just insert blank keyframes between them and create gaps.